on the table today at Squirrel Stampede. It is Heroes of Gujitsu Deep Goo Sea. Do you see what they did there? Deep Blue Sea. We're in the Deep Goo Sea. And we've got the Squirrel Stampede Aquatics Center back out months after, or actually years after we had seen it with the Treasure X uh, Deep Sunken Gold series. We've got the, the aquatic center here ready to go as we're going to submerge some of these great deep goosey figures. So what did we find? Well, we got to start with Blazagon. You always go with Blazagon first, the leader, of course. I mean, how many Blazagons have we now seen over the years? So many. This one has water blast attack, so that's pretty interesting. This one back here is pretty fun, too. This is suction attack. I'm Squishy Squidor, and this one reminds me so much of a Masters of the Universe leech, and he even has the suction cup face, and this figure actually has suction cup hands too, I just have his uh, regular hands if you can call them that. So Squidor is here, super squishy, and of course we have one more right here, Thrash for Shark Week. Shark Week is here or there or almost there, wherever you are. Uh, Thrash is always like the second in command of a Gujitsu figure to collect. So we have Thrash also to open. And a few others I have not found yet. These are just hitting this late summer fall of 2020 Squee. We've got Fogu, who looks like kind of like a weird frog dude. And Mantara, who looks like a manta ray kind of guy. And then there is the ultra rare Exo Shock. So have not seen those yet. But we do have a Jurassic World Mosasaurus we'll probably throw in too. I've actually collected a few other Jurassic World Fujitsus. We'll do a separate video for those others, but we'll just get a jump start on uh, the Mosasaurus here. Who, you know, he would be so, or she would be so left out if not included in the aquatic center. And then one other special pack, there are some combos. What do they call these again? These are, um, Two in one goo power packs. This almost looks like Blazagon and Thrash had a kid or, or they were smashed together or something. Uh, but this is a two in one. It's pretty interesting. I'm, I'm really curious how that's going to turn out. And there actually is one more. I'm not sure if we'll get today, as we might hold off and show this one when we get the giant deep goosey figure in a little bit here upcoming too. So not the full collection, but we'll probably kind of go in two parts here. So where to start? Well, let's find Blazagon and let's submerge. Uh, there's nothing really interesting in the packaging to say bio, like I don't read anything that says, oh, Blazagon likes to enjoy uh, summers on the beach and then shoot water blast people. He's just stretchy and he goes three times his size. So let's drop him into the aquatic center and see if we can open him up inside. Oh, he floats. He's floating. There he goes. Get him down there. There's some sunken gold pieces still in the aquatic center and a shark I see. I don't know how long this packaging will uh, hold up in this water. Let's give it a few few seconds to soak in and submerge the goosey. Okay, so Blaze of God's package has been in this water for at least a couple minutes now and it's getting really soggy so I should be able to just easily tear this, tear him free. Wow, this was the smoothest unboxing I think I've ever experienced for some reason. Probably the sloppiest too. Let's get Blaze of God out into the deep goo. The aquatic center got some of this goo from the deep through mail order and also through the sink in the bathroom in the room next door. Okay, here we go. Almost out. So, gotta squeeze him out of this package. He's, he's really fighting me. All right, we got it. We got him out. E. If you want to re-experience this yourself, just pick up a five, ten gallon uh, aquatic center over at your local fish tank retailer. So there's our Blazagon under the water. And what do you know, just like he is out of the water, he is super stretchy in the water. And I think, what does this one have? This one has a, a, a water shooting attack. Oh, right now, because his head was empty, uh, we are filling it with some water. Um, I don't know if we can see it from up here shooting yet. I'll have to get a better angle in a second. 
Oh, he's shooting pretty good. This is a good, good pool toy so far. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get water all over the place. I don't want to get my back screen all wet. So there's Blazer gun. Oh, I still have some packaging in there. Fill that up and squirt. And some more bubbles coming out. And as for his goo filling, it's a nice thick honey. It feels really thick. And there's some things inside. I don't know if you can see this fish, but there's a fish inside his arm, up on his shoulder there. Hard to see his compound inside with his golden armor. Uh, but we'll get in a little close too. And you can see that better like right now. You can see that, see that golden fish in there. Um, but this is the really tight and sticky goo of a figure. Um, really good for stretching the muscles. Oh. Take this with you while you're waiting for the bus Ooh. or while you're in the back row of church <sighs> and you can really work out uh, your arms and get them nice and strong. Oh. So there's Blaze Gun. He turned out pretty cool. Another, I don't know, it, this could be the 10th Blaze Gun that I have, maybe or more. I mean, we've gone through so many Blaze Guns. He's so cool. All right, where's Thrash? What did I do with Thrash? Let's check out Thrash. Let's drop Thrash now in to the water. Give Thrash a little bit of a thrashing. Thrash has the chomp attack feature. So it will be interesting to see. Ben Ultra 21 argued that Blazagon should have had the chomp attack and Thrash should have had the water attack. But as a shark, he could really have either one. He's really floating right now. He's really floating. Thrash, thrash, thrash about. We just watched uh, Meg versus Jaws, I think, for Shark Week. And it was pretty interesting. Kind of a toss up of who would win those battles. I think Thrash would probably win. Uh, Thrash's packaging was already pretty damaged from the mail. I got Thrash, I got most of all of these from Amazon so far they're the quicker option for me in town as i noticed like my walmarts and my targets nearby are trying to get rid of stuff before they reset for the fall and so that's my world hopefully maybe near you it's a little quicker <laughs> like thrash is like undersea chamber he can survive in a little bit fill it up and here we go um how do we get thrash out Thrash is like solidly stuck. Oh, there we go. He was like solidly shelled in there. Oh, be careful with these shells. Lacerations. I don't want to create a blood trail and have a real shark come in. That would be awful. That would be totally awful. Okay, come on Thrash, come on Thrashy. There he is. Get in there. Get into your natural habitat of the deep goosey. I don't know why, but I like to have them upside down. So there is Thrash. Now Thrash's goo power, which I forgot to read. I feel like there's water orbs in there. What did I read? Squishy? Did I read squishy? I feel like there's water beads in here. There must be, there must be something in here. Oh yeah, it's a water beater. He's got water beads. You can see green water beads inside him. Not sure if he has any other interesting things. I love when there's something to find. Remember back in the day when they had candy inside? That was so fun and simplistic. Like where was the lollipop type of thing? Now it's like where is nothing? But there could be something in there. It's hard to tell these giant, giant vests of gold make it hard to get, get to see him. So you have to kind of take those off. He's got the chomp attack though. That was, what was that? Like series two? or series three when they introduced Chomp Attack for the series. And it was pretty cool. Curious if it's the same head. Probably different, they like to sculpt different things. So he's got a shark Chomp Attack head. And if you put your finger in there, which I don't recommend, ow, it kind of hurts. But just like Blazagon underwater, he is stretchy. Multiple, multiple uh, extra nisses. Uh, three times, they usually say three times before you possibly risk destroying. Is my water getting a little bit soupy? I think uh, some of the packaging has dulled the uh, colorfulness of it. 
As for uh, buoyancy, he sure likes to float. For being a shark, what is that? His, um, oh, what is the air sac? What is the thing in fish? I forgot, and uh, sharks that keeps them able to float, not go to the surface. Uh, you'll have to help me out with that in the comments. Blazagon goes right down to the bottom. Blazagon's honey is really heavy, but all the water beads and everything going on inside Thrash here is not helping. And I don't think he has any water bottles, if water bubbles, water bottles. If he was carrying a bunch of water bottles, yes, he would float um, if they're empty. Um, but yeah, so that is Thrash. Pretty good figure. And now let's go to the third basic figure I found, and that is, that was the great I'm Squishy Suction Attack Squidor. So let's drop Squidor in as well with the team. Squidor, very close in color to Blazagon here. They're almost the same, uh, but they're certainly different in shape. So let's get squid ore out. Peel this apart. This gets wet so quickly. And oh, I hope I didn't get my back wall. I've somehow kept this back wall going for at least a year without having to replace. Uh, okay, where can I get squid ore out here? There we go. Come on, squid ore. Oh, oh, water everywhere. Oh. Electronic devices failing. Electrocution imminent. <laughs> Just kidding. If you're playing in water, be very careful. No lights in water, no electricity. This guy's floating too. Squidor is floating, everyone. So Squidor has got like three tentacle tail feet. That's pretty different and fun. I think, well, we kind of saw that with aliens and things. And he's got these great suction cups. I could probably suction cup him right onto the front of our viewing center right there. How does he look? I gotta check my focus on that. Okay, that is too perfect. I love how he sucks onto the side of the tank and holds on pretty well. His head suction is much tighter. There he goes. I almost think that every one of these, every one of the Deep Blue Sea Goosey should have had suction cups. I think that's just too much fun because you're going to want to play with these in water. Of course, why not? They're Deep Goosey. Although will the water penetrate inside the goo and cause problems? Probably. The thing about Goo Jitsu here is that they're really not long-term toys. Um, many of my older generations are really starting to fail. That's pretty neat though. I like this guy. He's got a blue harness uh, covering, panthro-like with spikes. And for filling, they say super squishy, also water beads. And there's something in there. It's like black and white, black clear and light blue water beads are in there. You can see them. A little tricky underwater here. See if I can get them all into his fist. Um, and I thought just for a second I caught something. There was something in there else. Maybe candy. Maybe candy. Oh, it's right there. It's like right at the tip. It's a, uh, it looks like, oh, it's, is it a sea turtle? It's right there. I got to get it just right. I don't know what that is. I think it's a crab. I think it's a little sea crab is inside him. So you can look around for a sea crab on Squidor there. Great face on Squidor. Again, so much like, where did Leechor go? Leechor, you weren't planning on getting wet today, were you? No, no, now my, now my Masters of the Universe Origins Leechor is gonna get all moldy. Oh no, don't, don't do it. Don't, don't. Oh, eat. You're stuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. all right. That was probably the most inappropriate squirrel stampede scene ever. Uh, we won't talk about that ever again. Never talk about how Leechor, Leech, and Squidor shared a moment in the aquatic center. Never discuss this again. I don't want to see it in the comments. I don't want years from now you going, hey, remember the time when Squidor and Leechor had that embrace inside the aquatic center? How awkward that was? Let's just 
Let's just forget about it right now. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put him right there. That means we've got Mosasaurus next. Dropping Mosasaurus in. Kind of tricky to find Mosasaurus. Uh, just recently, more often these dropping. Um, this comes in the pack with the Amber T Rex, the Carn, the Carnotaurus, and uh, a new Indominus Rex, which I just found the Indominus. So we'll get to those again at some point. But right now we'll we'll get in here. What is this? This is I'm Super Oozy. So this one has an ooze-like feel. I've been so excited to get this one out. Um, there's just not enough Mosasaurus stuff. I think we've all wanted a super colossal Mosasaurus. That would be fantastic. There we go. <laughs> is the aquatic center getting full yet? Anyone? Anyone? Um, it's quite full. In fact, I think I'm gonna take Thrash out for a minute because he's just bobbing around. So Thrash is out. Oh, water everywhere. Squidor, you're supposed to be stuck to the wall. Shipwreck passed out. He should have been really enjoying this. So there, there's his Armosasaurus. That is so cool. Oh, Blazicon's got him by the tail. Opening and closing mouth with this one, I believe. We can get it. That's a tight one. There we go. Opening and closing mouth has a tight hinge to it. Um, but it's really quite incredible. And as for Goo filling, um, he's got a little bony fish inside his belly. She, or I keep wanting to say he. Mosasaurus is typically a girl, right? Or not. I'm not sure on that one, actually, completely. You just know it ate the saga. Um, little bony, bony dead fish are in there, and it's kind of like a, a goo. It, this is traditional goo filling right there. Absolutely traditional goo filling. So that's, that's pretty neat to look at um, inside Mosasaurus. And, of course, stretches to three times its, its size. Pretty awesome. Okay, Mosasaurus, flip over, flip over. Mosasaurus likes to flip upside down in swim mode. I'm trying to get her to swim up mode. Maybe if I close that jaw. Nope, she's upside down. Anyhow, our last Gujitsu of the day, like I said, is the combo, the two-in-one goo power. What is the name of this one, by the way? This is Bow Breath. No, wait, we weren't gonna open Bow Breath. We were gonna hold on to Bow breath until we got King Hydra, who should be in the mail arriving today. But I didn't think King Hydra would fit into here. So we'll just hold off on King Hydra and we're gonna go with instead, this is the one I wanted, Tyro. Tyro is here. So Tyro has morphed into a two in one pop out claw attack. That's fantastically different. Stretch power, claw pop attack, double goo pack. So maybe half and half. This is gonna be interesting finale. Let's just take Mosasaurus out and drop in our final goo power of the day. Deep goo C in, into the tank you go. Just a few more bobs of the package and it's going to just tear, tear right open. Who would have thought cardboard and water would work so well together? Okay, Tyro, good to see you again. Now in your two-in-one, oh, water shooting everywhere. I gotta be so careful. I'm sure some tapestry, some squirrel stampede tapestry will get destroyed. And I'll be like, oh no, don't want that happening. And two-in-one, almost out. One more plastic tab should do it. And these are really oversized giants. They're like twice the size of a typically typical size of a hero. Look at this guy compared to Blazagon. Holding steady underwater. So yeah, about twice the scale. Let's pop out pop out Squidor here so we can see better. Ooh, Squidor got me wet. Put Squidor here on the side here. Um, yeah, like twice as big. Oh, there's so many floaters in the water now. The aquatic center needs the cleaning filtration system on any moment. And somehow though they've done it. Somehow they've combined a really heavy honey blue goo power on this side, total heavy goo power, just like Blazagon. And on this side, it's a really squishy, very viscous, 
Um, it's kind of like that metallic, metallic goo filling on this side. And down the middle, they've got a separator line. I do not know how they performed and got that in the factory. I have no idea how they did that. They must have had to fill, have a shell, just with a, a line down the center, and uh, then like a balloon with a, a divider, and then just filled each side, I suppose. It's probably simpler than you think, uh, but it's really quite cool. So we've got this claw weapon that when you squeeze his arm, the claw comes out a little bit. It's kind of like what we saw years ago with Blazagon, and he had some powers. He'd shoot a orb or something. This is more of a, just a little claw. And then the shark hammerhead side here. It's like a fist of a hammerhead shark. And you can go, of course, three times. So that is quite cool. And look at the head. The head of this one is really quite cool. You can see Tyro in there. Almost looks like he combined powers with Blazagon. You're gonna have to watch the show. I have, it's been a while since I've caught up on the show. Maybe that's what happens there as they combine their powers. Tyro and Blazagon. I could see something like that happening. But the headpiece under the little dome is really quite clever. They turned out really cool. Every collection of Heroes of Gujitsu always fantastic and fun. I love the theme changes every time. And they're finally underwater into the deep goo sea. And there's more coming, like I said. Uh, King Hydra should be hitting my mailbox sometime today. So stay tuned at some point for that video. I thought King Hydra just came in but it turned out it was a Smasher's Dino Ice Age surprise egg. This was a few years old. I picked it up because I wanted to build the mammoth inside. So I might do like a short on that. We'll see. And of course, we still have this awesome Bowel Breath figure to check out too. We'll save this for King Hydra. And maybe I could find a couple more of the basic figure packs like Mantara. Was that it? I'm looking for Mantara and Fugu. Those should be pretty common. And maybe, maybe who knows, maybe I'll run into an ultra rare Exoshock who looks like a really beefed up version of Larry the Crab. Is that it from SpongeBob? Uh, so there you go. Thank you so much for watching today. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, squirrel eye, squamant your favorite feature of Deep Goo Sea. And thank you so much for watching. And that's what I have to say about that. Floaty half wants to kind of float up where it 